This is it. The stretch in our schedule that could make or break our season. First, we're going to be taking on the Houston Texans. We're 4 0. They're 3 1. And this game is for first place in the division. But after this game right here, we're also going to be taking on the Patriots as well as the Saints. Now, first, let's take care of business at Houston. I think the difference in this game could be between those two players right there, Vontae Davis and Ryan Mallett. Hopefully, we can focus on Arian Foster and our secondary will get the job done against their passing offense. So starting off the game, my first carry does go for 22 yards. Immediately after that play, we go right back to me. I'm able to run over a defender and just like that, we are already in the red zone to start off this game. Almost 20 yards to carry. Later on first and goal, five wide receiver set for Andrew Luck and he's gonna find who else but T.Y. Hilton for the game's first touchdown. These guys have just been on point this year when it comes to chemistry. Later on at the two minute mark in the second quarter, we are up 14 to nothing in this game. And so far, the game plan is going perfectly. Houston's offense is struggling and it's setting us up with great field position every single time. Again, man, Andrew Luck dropping back to pass and finding Andre Johnson, another big pickup in the Colts offseason. Great pass, great protection, and an even better catch by the wide receiver out of the University of Miami, Andre Johnson, number 81. And Houston, who is supposed to challenge us in the division this year, finds themselves down 28-7. to Later in the fourth quarter, you guys see me just fighting for extra yardage, taking more time off this clock and continuing this drive late in the fourth quarter. Once again, close to another first down. Later on second and two, a counter play. I pick up a block, and I'm going to pick up another first down this drive. I do get pushed out of bounds at the 28 13 carries for 84 yards and you guys see i am hyped for a reason because we are getting out of here with a 35 to 7 victory over the houston texans but things don't get any easier as we are going to have to go ahead travel back home and take on the three and one new england patriots now if you guys didn't hear the judge in the deflate gate situation actually overturned tom brady's suspension so he's not going to miss a single game to start off this year. Now let's go ahead and get things started against the defending Super Bowl champions. You guys see me racing across the field. That's because Andrew Luck was able to find Moncrief on a post route and he took it the rest of the way to go ahead and give us a 7-0 lead. But the Patriots did come right back and tie this game up. So here we are in the second quarter after a sack. Andrew Luck able to find Andre Johnson to keep this drive moving. Later we're going to go with a screen play. I'm going to go ahead, follow my blockers, and fight my way for another first down. Just like that, we are over midfield. Later on, inside the red zone now, I give Andrew Luck a block, and he's going to find T.Y. Hilton, and that looks like a touchdown to me, but he would be ruled down at the one-yard line, so we're going to go ahead and just hand it off to me, and that's probably one of the easier touchdowns I'm going to get in my career as I go in untouched, and we regain the lead 14-7. to Now, Brady did lead the offense to a field goal but here we are with 142 remaining and Andrew Luck is going to go down and get sacked once again in this game so face with the third and 19 I see Mayo is on me in coverage and this guy he doesn't have the speed to keep up with me so I'm just going to run right by him and take this one for an 88 yard touchdown what a mistake by the New England Patriots Starting off the second half, up 21 to 10. We have a chance to put this game away. I'm going to give Andrew Luck a block. He's going to take a shot down the field, and Logan Ryan ends up intercepting the football. So just like that, the Patriots have a chance to get right back into this thing. Now, they would score a touchdown and fail in the two-point conversion, but somehow they got the ball back after another turnover and gained the lead 24 to 21. Now, Frank Gore has been getting a bunch of carries because I only have seven carries for 13 yards. Later on third and six, Andrew Luck going to find Kobe Fleener. Another dynamic duo on this offense. I mean, we just have so many weapons that it gets to the point where you just have to pick your poison. Later on in the fourth quarter, up 28 to 24. All we need is like one more first down and this game is over. You guys see I have nowhere to go later on second and 10. Again, I kind of run into my own blocker fighting for extra yardage. I mean, I'm trying to get away from three defenders, but we would have to go ahead and settle for the field goal. The former Patriot, Adam Vinatieri, is going to make this a 31-24 game. And that would be the final score in this one. I mean, the Patriots definitely almost handed us our first loss. But instead, we are getting out of here with another W. 
I have a feeling we're going to see these guys again at some point in the season. You guys see 10 carries for 16 yards. Definitely struggled. Frank Gore had 10 carries for 96 yards. So it's kind of opposite of what happened the last game. Now, I did lead the team receiving with 105 yards, courtesy of that huge reception in the first half. But here we are, man, taking on the Saints. We still find ourselves undefeated in the season, and I'm looking to have a breakout performance. That first carry goes for about 12 yards. Another carry here. You guys see me going right side and lowering my shoulder against Brandon Browner. This man is one of the hardest-hitting cornerbacks in the NFL, the former Legion of Boom corner. And we were just having none of it. We just lowered our shoulder. And we actually won that battle right there later on in the drive. Man, Andrew Luck. I'll let you guys guess who caught the touchdown. Yeah, it was T.Y. Hilton. This man, he's got to be leading the league or close to leading the league in receiving touchdowns. Here we are in the second half. The score is 7-7. You guys see me following my blockers and bringing this one all the way down to the 30-yard line. 15 carries for 107 yards on the day. Later on first and goal. Junior Gallette is going to meet me in the backfield, but I'm going to spin out of it and get in for the touchdown, and I am having myself one of the better games in my rookie season. I mean, Junior Gallette, obviously he's not on the team in real life, but he's an outstanding player, and to get out of that tackle and bring it in for the touchdown, that's obviously a confidence boost. Now, you guys see late in the third quarter, I am not slowing down one bit. A career-high 19 carries for 139 yards. Later, I'm trying to give Andrew Luck a block, and he's going to throw an absolute dot to T.Y. Hilton down the field. I mean, Jarius Bird is one of the best coverage safeties in the NFL, and Andrew Luck put that one right on the money and connected with T.Y. Hilton. Now, on third and goal, we do go with the read option, but I am going to get stuffed at the four-yard line. Now, instead of taking the field goal, we decide to go for it, and Andrew Luck is going to find his tight end, Kobe Fleener, for the touchdown. Here's another look at it. The Saints bring an all-out blitz. And for whatever reason, man, they left Kobe Fleener wide open. Definitely something you don't want to do. Later on in the fourth quarter, once again back inside the 10-yard line, we go with the screen play, and I don't think they're expecting that one bit as I do go in untouched for another touchdown in today's game. That's going to give us a 28-14 lead. Here we are under two minutes remaining. This game is all but over, and to make it official, all we need is one more first down. So instead of punting on fourth and two, we're going to go ahead and go for it. Andre Johnson's going to go in motion. The Saints sell out up the middle. And this game is over. I hop in for the touchdown. And just like that, we remain undefeated. In the next episode, we'll be taking on the Panthers, followed by the Denver Broncos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, I'm TD Presents. Peace out.